Last night, we, Malaysia was given the honor of staging a play at the ashram, uh, Bhagavan Baba's 87th birthday. And so today morning, we were supposed to be living uh, elsewhere, <laughs> but we are here. And one wonders why, but one knows why, because it is a divine incident why this is so. And the whole piece, sometimes when you see things uh, in a holistic manner, you will begin to understand why this book is so relevant. I will not speak about the contents, simply because I'm not so familiar with the contents. But I have gone through the first, uh, first few uh, points and managed to grasp the concept upon which you have written Navin. But I would like to speak about the container, in which, in, which means how the content is relevant to the world at this point of time. Because scientific literature is now being generated. That those who are born from 81, on, on, from 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85 onwards, they have classified this group of people to belong to a generation called Gen Y. And Gen Y publication, there are more than 75 papers now, an incredible number of bulletins as well as consultancy reports that have now been generated in the world on the epidemic nature of the Gen Y's, uh, uh, Gen Y's engagement in the workforce. They found that the general turnover rates, general average turnover rates of this force in working places is about two to three years. Like those days when we work in some place, you will say we worked in 35 years, 40 years, we were very loyal to a company. But now you find these people always changing. We also find that the endurance levels of these people are also beginning to become extremely low. Third, they find that the vision aspect also is slowly beginning to become dim. So these are the challenges now, the workforce now needs to come in, the HR and many other people. Now how do you engage these people and get them to be excited about it? Bhagwan Baba once said, more important than the guru is the guri. Guri means goal. Unless one is fired with a vision or higher goal, these aspirations will not come by. Therefore, in this light, we find the book of this nature providing coaching tips providing aid, providing a mental ability for the younger generation to associate themselves with higher ideals. Because one of the findings also is that the younger ones need coaching, but they must not be told that they are being coached. And this is the thing. You must coach them, but they must not be felt that they are coached. This is the, the paradox of things. You must advise them, but it must not look like an advice. You must guide them, but they must not feel that they are being guided. So these are the paradoxical ways. Why is this so? It's because a patient came to a doctor and told the doctor, doctor, when I press here, it pains. When I press here, it pains. When I press here, it pains. The doctor said, go, take an x-ray. When the x-ray came, uh, the doctor said, repeat the problem. The patient said, when I press here, it pains. When I press here, it pains. Wherever I press, it pains. Doctor took out the x-ray and said, wherever you press will pain because the bone in the finger is fractured. <laughs> so, <laughs> So the, 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 the point of the story is that when the mind has become weak and extremely lacking lack of confidence, then you find that all these problems will start to exist. And very nicely, the book shows that when prosperity and happiness, sometimes when prosperity enters through the front door, happiness will run away from the, through the back. Whenever one is having happiness, to have both happiness and prosperity are the same, it is tough, it is a challenge. To have effectiveness and efficiency in the same, at the same balance, it is tough. This is why the Eastern tradition, they talked about the yin and the yang. If the yin is too strong, the world will be imbalanced. If the yang is too strong, it will be imbalanced. But to have the yin and the yang at the balance point, that is where world peace and harmony will take place. And that is why we must congratulate Nevin at this point of time for putting the whole perspective in that light by bringing contradictory uh, aspects like dreamers and doers together and to see how that can be harmonized. The world is lacking this harmonization point. And that is why this book is today very extremely relevant, so that people start to harmonize themselves because people are losing this. And people are consistently, and that is why WHO, World Health Organization, says that by 2015, the number one disease more than cancer will be depression. You know? This is why people sometimes have forgotten even how to be happy.
That is why 364 days we are unhappy. We come to your house and say, happy birthday to you, happy birthday. On the, 365th, on the 365th day, outside your pub, outside your pubs, you do not, you have the words happy hours, isn't it? Why they know outside you are depressed and sad, come inside and be happy. <laughs> so the world is now, the what human being is that they have forgotten how to become happy, how to be engaged. You find the inventions Mr. Wright said in one uh, story, there is nothing to invent, there is nothing to invent. Then somebody said, what about aeroplanes? What about something, what about something to fly? No, only angels will fly, Mr. Wright said. But his two children, Wilbur and Oliver Wright, uh, were the ones who created the aircraft. So all three of them saw the sky, the same sky, but the children saw a different horizon. So in the same way, how do we spark a horizon? How do we ignite purpose? Because unless we ignite higher purpose, you'll find aspirations will not come. Entrepreneurship will not come. Uh, so in the universities now, and I come from a very, one, of the, one of the prestigious universities in Malaysia, uh, there what we have now specifically done is that to create entrepreneurship and creativity, we have now put into the programs, into the school programs, the college programs, university programs, that every student now must now become entrepreneur, must know entrepreneurship, skip, skip. Somehow they must be triggered. And but one of the first subjects that we put inside there is the purpose. Example, if these doors were all, if we asked you to leave this room, everyone will go through the front door because of the back doors or the side doors. But if you, all the rooms are locked and there's a fire here, then your eyes will look up and now start to look out, step on the table and move up and open the ceiling and we may come out because the purpose is to live. So unless there is this higher purpose, we will not be able to expand the horizon or think creatively. So this harmonization point is the most single most important factor. If not, can you explain? Thousands of universities have generated millions of students who are now having doctorates and PhDs and masters. After 50 years so far, a tsunami proportion of knowledge has been generated in this world. And yet today we are living in the most vulnerable state. We have political crisis, economic crisis, scientific crisis, weather crisis, food crisis, water crisis. We have never lived in a world with so much of vulnerabilities staring at us. Why is this so? Because we have lost the power to contextualize. We have got the knowledge, we have got content, but we have forgotten how to contextualize, how to put things in the right frame, how to put, we are running after information, but we are seldom looking back introspectively and seeing how this information is relevant. So content is critical, but in the context of the container, this is the one of the most appropriate books that has come now, and we hope, and clearly, with the grace and the blessings of the Lord, hope this book will now trigger, ignite younger minds to see how the nation now can move forward with greater entrepreneurship, with greater zeal, with greater zest, so that more and more people create opportunities for working, not only just working and achieving prosperity, but at the same time achieving happiness. Now, in the KPI, Key Performance Index, there's a new clause that they have put in, happiness index now. Uh, one of the countries now, they are key in key performance index now, there's the consultancy now that we have now, I, by the way, I, I work, I'm, I'm a, it's a paradoxical that I'm a professor, I'm prof actually I feel quite a bit left out here because I'm a professor in the scientific field, but the last 20 years, I've also specialized myself in this field of management and the field of uh, vision management and uh, consultancy and strategic uh, consultancy and so forth. So whilst we do this, because coming from a scientific background, sometimes you may be able to see a thing, one or two things a little bit more clearer. We find <laughs> that really speaking, the th clear thing right now is that whilst more and more people are moving towards it, one thing that is clearly lacking is the ability for people to actually bring, come together. Entrepreneurship, sometimes you may find somebody else having another idea, but the inability for people to collaborate and come together, share ideas and trigger, that is also one of the reasons why we continue to remain where we are. So probably now with all these books and all these more greater and greater collaborations and greater cooperation, greater cohesiveness, more of this information can be fluid and more homogeneously we can achieve the targets, the goals, so that we can also have prosperity, at the same time retain our happiness, these twin goals that man must slowly strive to achieve. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's a wonderful grace and sign up.